Good afternoon, Scratch readers. I'm Chloe Rannick from Scratch Magazine, and today I'll be chatting to Liz McKeon about Sheer Haven's Anti-Domestic Violence Training Initiative, which I think is an absolutely brilliant initiative. So firstly, how are you today, Liz? I'm really good and nice to be here. And yeah, all the better for the nice weather, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And it's a Friday just in time for the weekend mm -hmm. as well. Um, so please could you introduce yourself and just tell us a bit about yourself? Yes, sure. Uh, my name is Liz McKeown and I've been working in the beauty and hair and nail industry for a long time. And um, my business title is um, Salon Business Expert. And I mainly specialize in business development and teaching people how to run more profitable businesses with um, great success, I'm delighted to say. And coming out of lockdown, I've um, relaunched all my training courses under the umbrella of the International Salon Business School. So we have very exciting times here at Liz McKeown HQ. So that's basically what I do. That sounds brilliant. And yeah, so today, as I mentioned before, we'll be speaking about the Anti-Domestic Violence Initiative, which you've recently become an ambassador for for UK mm -hmm. and Ireland. Yeah. So when did the initiative launch and what were the initial goals behind it? So the initiative originally launched in Tennessee in America, I think in around 2017. Um, by a lady called Suzanne Post, who runs a hair salon. She's a stylist and um, she's also a survivor of, of domestic violence. And she came to understand that um, in salons, nail bars, hair salons, you know, all the personal services that we have, you know, a very unique and special relationship with our clients. And she felt, you know, with her background, that um, there was something that we could do to help people in salons to um, to um, be more aware of, of, this, um, of this situation. So she teamed up with the YWCA, which is where the shelters are in Tennessee. And they developed this 20 minute training, teaching people how to recognize the signs and what to say and do in, in a salon or a nail bar environment. And during lockdown then, a really exciting thing happened insofar as Barbicide then came on as the official sponsors. So that's really been, been a game changer because it's, it's, it's meant um, that she was able, uh, that Suzanne was able to scale up. So I found the training in about February time, you know, during our lockdown one Saturday night, I found it when I was just going through my LinkedIn and I did the training and I just thought it was amazing that in a 20 minute segment, we, we could help so many people to help our clients. So I then contacted America and just said, you know, I, I think we I think we need to bring this to Ireland and to the UK. I also you get a little certificate when you do your training and I put my certificate up um, on my I did a couple of social media posts and then I also um, sent out a newsletter to my database saying, you know, I know everybody's doing loads of virtual training during lockdown, please put this on your train, you know, on your training schedule. And apparently several thousand people in the UK looked at the training as a result. So then we've had our communications, you know, we've been in, in talks, you know, since then until last week when we were ready to actually launch in, in Ireland and in England. And the the um, the take up on it has been just overwhelming and the interest and the support we've got from people has been um, fantastic. So that's yeah. Does that give you the background? Yeah, definitely. That's brilliant that you've already had such a great reaction already. So you've mentioned how it um, takes like 20 minutes to complete. So. What does, how does, what's the structure of the course? How does it sort of work? Okay. So if anybody is interested in doing this, the training um, is on my website. So you just go onto my website and it's my name, lizmckeown.com and details are on the homepage. We've also um, recorded um, a fairly fairly lengthy, but I think a really good video that uh, interview that it gives all the background with Barb besides Suzanne Post and myself. And you can look at that or not, but the training is literally just press on, on the link to the training and it's 20 minutes long. That's all it is. Now, it's very comprehensive. And I have to say at this point, we're not, you know, we're not going to change the world with this. You know, it's not telling people what to say to people, you know, sitting across you when, when they're having their nails done. We can't solve their problems for them. And, and, and Suzanne and I know this, but what we can do is teach people how to listen how not to judge, to have the, you know, the details for your local refuge, to have that there should somebody want it. So we don't have the answers in terms of solving the problems for people, but we do know 
that in the capacity of you know doing somebody's nails that you're just you know you're so important you know and people tell you everything don't you don't you know uh, I don't do treatments any longer any longer it's a long time since I've done anybody's nails but I know people tell you everything and since we launched this last week and I've spoken to so many people about it in our industry not one person has said to me I've never come across that. Nobody has said to me, I've never had a client. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Everybody has been saying to me, oh, I've had this client, that client, the other client. This has happened, that's happened. And I never knew what to do or to say. Mm -hmm. So that's really what the training does. It's 20 minutes long, as I was saying, and it's um, developed in America. And, and just also to point out, this is now law. This training is legal. Um, you have to do it in two states in America. If you um, if you work there, you cannot work in a salon without doing this training. And the plan in America is to make sure that it becomes it becomes law in the 50 states. Again, we would be hoping, you know, to get that sort of support behind it on, on, on this side of the Atlantic as well. So, yeah, it's just literally there what to do, what to say so that you feel empowered if you have that vulnerable person there and that you're not saying to yourself, I can't help, I can't do anything, what am I supposed to do? If you've done your Sheer Haven training, then then you know you know the support that, that you can and can't give. Uh, yeah, that's... Yeah, it sounds like something that salon professionals, hair and beauty professionals can really benefit from, especially as you mentioned about how a lot of hair and beauty professionals have come across it so frequently, which is such a sad thing. But why do you think that maybe um, hair and beauty professionals are in a position that clients may open up to them about it? Like, what do you think it is about that sort of relationship that professionals have with their clients? Well, this is why it's invaluable to do the training because the, um, in that short space of time, the YWCA are able to explain there's a power and control cycle that goes on here. So that's explained and the psychology behind it. And I think once you understand that, then you're then you're empowered and positioned to know what to do and what to say so that's that's why it's it's really important but it's also important um you know and if you watch the interview with barbicide and Susanna and myself um les um leslie from barbicide makes the point that she has no understanding of this she has no background in it that you know she she doesn't know you know it's it's never been on you know it's not ever affected her on a personal level so she she would feel at a loss so when we're explaining to her actually when you're in that situation you can't really talk to your family and friends because part of that power and control cycle is that you are you are isolated from those people and if you're not isolated you're very restricted in what you can talk about so that means going to the nail bar or going to the salon is a very safe place. Okay. Even if the perpetrator drops you outside and is waiting for you, when you're in there, you're safe. There's people there that you know that you know that the perpetrator is not going to get to. So you're safe to say what you need to say and to be who you want to be in that short space of time. So, and because of the unique and special relationship that you build up with, with your nail tech um, over, the, over the course of all your visits and all your time. So it's for all of us in our industry to understand that we're a very important part in the community. We're very important to our clients. And I think this, was, this became very obvious to me during lockdown, particularly the first lockdown, where I saw so many business owners putting up posts to their clients saying, you know, if you need to chat, I'm still here. Here's the number. If you need to talk about, if you need me to call the authorities for you, um, just mention such a cream or such an, an, um, a nail varnish or whatever it is, just mention that and I'll know to call the authorities for you. Which led me to think that there's a lot of people in our industry who are keeping an eye out for particular clients to make sure that they're safe. I completely agree. And I think professionals do so much more than just the hair and beauty treatments. As, as said, so much more. It's that unique relationship they build with their clients who they might have been seeing for years or new clients, whatever. And yeah, I think a lot of people did put a lot of social media posts as well saying like, I'll oh, ask for this certain product or ask to see this certain person. So obviously you mentioned it about, about lockdown, but what, do you, what kind of impact do you think the pandemic has had on domestic violence? Well, I think the numbers speak for themselves. This is not something new. And also, I always like to point out, it's not a gender specific problem either. So if we never had lockdowns, we're talking about one in four females and one in seven men. 
So they, they've been the statistics for a long time, but all over the world, it's just frightening how the call, you know, how this problem has got so much worse because of people being in such a, you know, being together so much, having to work from home, um, the stress levels that the pandemic has caused, all of that, you know, I can't even remember the numbers because they're different everywhere, but you know, it has seriously, seriously risen um, as a result of the pandemic. And, you know, even last Saturday, I was at home and I was just looking at my, my Facebook news feed, just, just scrolling through, wasting time as you do. And um, I saw a salon owner who put up a picture of her client and just said, she's dead. So I think it's, it's the pandemic has made it so much worse. It really has. It's absolutely devastating to hear. And I think this training will be invaluable for so many hair and beauty professionals. So obviously um, you are the ambassador for mm -hmm. in Ireland. So what um, does your role involve in terms of the training for that and being an ambassador? So my role is really just to leverage the position, you know, the, the following that I have and get it out there as much as I possibly can. There's one point I'd like to make, and that's when you complete your training, you get a certificate. And we are asking people to post those certificates up on social media and to tag us when you do that so that so that it raises awareness about Sharehaven. Um, we're also asking people if they have space on their certificate wall. And um, you know the way everybody in our industry, we love our certs and we love our awards. Um, so as we as awareness on this grows, that you could frame your certs, put them up in the wall, and then for that, you know, for that vulnerable client that she would actually see the frame and see the certificate in it and know, well, you know, this, you know, I'm glad to be here. Definitely. Yeah. I think just that reassurance as well from the client's point of view would just be such a reassurance that, you know, they, they're in a safe place to talk and a safe haven as you will. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So apart from, um, obviously, so it's a 20 minute thing, obviously I'm guessing it's online as well, all online. It's, it's, it's all online. It's just virtual training. It's on the Barberside website, the American Barberside website, and it's also on my website, lizmckeown.com. It is literally 20 minutes. Like, you know, you could do it while, while you're eating your sandwich at lunchtime if you're lucky enough to get to get a lunchtime. Yeah. Um, yeah, so very, very easy to download. And, you know, um, why WCA offered to remake the video for us, you know, for Ireland and England with with English and Irish accents, and I was just like, it's okay, it's fine that you all have American accents in. It. So it's it's yeah, we don't we just need to get it out there. We don't need to remake the video. It's there, yeah. So very accessible. It couldn't be easier, yeah. Definitely. And is there an exam to take at the end? Just because some there's, some there's, might worry. There's about just a tiny little. Uh, I think it's only three or four questions um, in order to get your certificate. Just a, just a tiny little quiz. But you know, if you've paid attention at all, you're going to pass. I have um, twenty five thousand people plus um, globally. This is now in ninety nine countries. So twenty five thousand people have done it. So I don't think anybody has failed the quiz. 100% success rate. <laughs> 100%, yeah, yeah, there's 100%. So yeah, you're bound to get 100% in this. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Well, yeah. I think that sounds absolutely brilliant. And we'll leave the um, link for your website and things like that in the comments. Great. Thank you, Chloe. That would, that would be fabulous. Thank you so much. Yes. And thank you. And thank you to everybody in Scratch. And it's one of my favorite magazines. And yeah, I do write every so often in Scratch. So I feel, I feel I know your audience. Yeah, definitely. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure to speak to you about it as well. And this will be saved to our IGTV on our Instagram. And it'll also be posted to our website and things like that. So for anyone who's missed it today, because obviously a lot of our nail technicians will be working. I'm busy. Then, yeah, busy. It was Especially with this hot weather, people will be trying to get their manicures in for the weekend. Um, so yeah, this will be saved so people can go back and watch it at their free time. So it'll be available for everyone to watch as well. Great. Okay. Great. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Not today. at all. Thank you. And yes, really, really, um, really appreciate the opportunity. So thank you so much. No problem. Thank you so much. Bye. Thanks. Bye.